Philippians 3 and 19. Who's in? Let's start back at uh, 18. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, so these people walk around with these crosses around their necks and thinking uh, uh, the Heavenly Father told them to put that on as if they bearing that cross. No, nah, it's the word. That's idol worship of what you into. You don't know it because the so-called white man told you told you to uh, wear that shit. Go ahead. Whose end is destruction. Who end is destruction when you become enemies of the word, which is the cross. Go ahead. Whose God is their belly. Whose God is their belly. They worshiping it. They worshiping uh, 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 which is which is going into their mind. Look up the word belly. Which is going into their mind and they just want to uh, uh, do whatever they want to do. Not, not do what the Heavenly Father say do. They're contrary to the Heavenly Father. In the same way them people do in them churches, okay? That's why they wear them crosses around their neck. They don't study, these niggas dumb, man. And the so-called white man know these niggas dumb, man. You see? If the so-called white man put on the news, celebrate Thanksgiving on a different day, these niggas will do it, okay? They the, world, the World Series or some main event uh, uh, is showing the so-called white man saying, nah, nah y'all celebrate uh, Thanksgiving on this day. These niggas will do it. Nah. They follow the so-called white man hook, line, and singer. These niggas mind control, man. These nah. niggas brainwash, man. And then she gonna say, are we uh, y'all prejudiced? Really? That's what she said, prejudice. Mm -hmm. And that just shows you, that just shows you, uh, you know, uh, I understood what she was saying, you know, as far as being prejudiced. But when you look up the word prejudice, I understand what she was trying to say, you see. But when you look up the word prejudice, it means to to, to uh, judge somebody uh, without even uh, doing any research on it or on them. You know, to say something about something that you haven't even done no research on. Okay? That, that's what the word prejudice really mean but I understand what she was saying but that, that shows you how, how much of an idiot these fucking women are man go ahead that word belly the Greek word polia 2836 you have a definition that talks about the cavities of the stomach but the definition that goes with that scripture is number five it says the innermost part of a man the soul the heart as the seat of thought feelings or choice so Whatever they mind is in their lust, whatever they're into, that's what they going to uh, 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 lean toward because they become enemies of the cross. You see? They didn't believe. They rejected it. You see? So that's, that, that's what it is, man. And it's going to be destruction to them. Uh, you know? Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, mm -hmm. and whose glory is in their shame. Yep. Who mind earthly things. Who mind earthly things. You see? Trying to trying to uh, follow everybody. Not walking that narrow path, piling up in them churches. You see? Just because they got a, 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 a idol on top of it, which is them crosses, they think that it's established by the Heavenly Father and His Son. Hell no. Scripture plainly say, He dwells not in temples made with hands, but you niggas overlook that. Uh, verse two. Even you, it tell you that it, it tell you in uh, First Corinthians the third chapter that you are the temple, you are his building, you, you nigga skip right over that, and you don't say shit to them fucking wicked ass pastors in there about that. And then when them pastors get to talk, if he do mention something about homosexuality, you niggas will vote him out. Telling me he gotta get down the street, and then you, and then the dumbass pastor, I try to uh, uh, wing it. Well, he'll wing it, you know, and try to cater to your feeling, feeling, and say, who am I to judge? You know, I ain't nobody. I can't judge. That's in the scriptures you can judge. And then they'll say, well, the scriptures say thou should not judge, right? And we gonna get that. Finish that off. God, it says. Whose end is their end is destruction, 
whose God is their belly. Right. It says, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. Who mind earthly things. That's what they worried about, money. Money. Okay? Women. That's what they worried about. You see? Nice car. You see? They do anything, they do anything uh, contrary to the Heavenly Father. And they reject the word because they don't want to walk that narrow path, man. I mean, you can live as long as you don't do things contrary to the heavenly father. But these niggas go overboard, man. These niggas is wicked, man. Ain't nothing wrong with you having a woman, man. Nigga got to get his, I mean, brother got to get his rocks off. But goddamn, man, don't let these goddamn women suck you away from the truth, man. Fuck. For our conversation is in heaven. From whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, give me uh, give me uh, uh, Matthew the seventh chapter. Because then I try to use this scripture right here and then hold uh, uh, Second Corinthians uh, or three and uh, I mean two and fifteen. 15. Yeah, it says. Matthew 7 and 1, judge not that ye be not judged. What, that, what that's talking about is, see, they'll use that scripture and say, well, you can't judge. What that's talking about is, say, for instance, if I say, look, you're not supposed to be sleeping with another man's woman if they join together. If she got a husband, you're not supposed to sleep with her, right? God. And I tell you not to do that, but I go around and do that. That's adultery. So I'll be judged for that shit. Okay? Say for instance, I tell you, look, you're not supposed to eat pork. Right? That's against the Levitical law. You're not supposed to do that. You know? And I turn around and go eat pork or catfish. I'd be judged for that. So whatever I tell you not to do, I'm not doing it. But I can judge. That's what that means. Go ahead. Come. Judge not that ye be not judged. So I didn't tell you that you couldn't judge. You see? But these Negroes, so dumb, and so slow, so docile, they don't know. Go ahead. It says, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. Right. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. You see? So you can judge. When you're teaching, you're on a whole nother stage, man. Right? You're on a whole nother stage. So when somebody come up and run their mouth, every idle word, they should give account for that. So really, you in the for for, uh, for you to understand, you basically in like in the like in the like in the courthouse. Don't you, know, you know how Esau got his courthouse set up? Right? And you don't say shit to him when he come in there, yes, that no, that, yes, that. You don't say shit to him. Right? But that's what you're doing when you step amongst us. Because the spirit of the heavenly father is, a, is amongst us. So you basically talking and running your mouth in court and not knowing that the heavenly father and his son is taking notes and see that shit. Say, all right, he running his mouth, got him. Gonna fuck him off. He reject the word, gonna fuck him off. Got him. You see? And then, and then, so-called, so-called white man will give your ass a hundred years, but you ain't gonna tell him you can't judge. Dumb fucking nigga. Go ahead. God. Uh, First Corinthians two and fourteen. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit. But the, the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit. That's why we can't get deep on something with some of you niggas. Cause you niggas can't, you niggas don't understand the deep thing. You see? Because you niggas corner. You niggas on the low level. God. Two thirds of you niggas. Go ahead. For they are foolish unto him. They are foolish unto him. You see? Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Yeah, you're a reprobate. You void of judgment, set up for set up for the destruction. That's what you set up for. Go ahead. But he that is spiritual judges all things. What? He that is spiritual judges all things. What? But he that is spiritual judges all things. He that is spiritual judges all 
thing. We spiritual men up here. But we can judge. Okay? Go ahead. Yet he himself is judge of no man. So when a motherfucker come up here talking about y'all can't judge, that's a fucking idiot. That right there is an idiot. And the reason why I saying being judged of no man, because he don't understand the scripture. He trying to tell us what's right from wrong. Fucking asshole, you don't know what the hell going on. Then like that fucking Edomite woman, you don't know what the hell going on. You trying to tell us uh, 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 what's right from wrong. And the simple ass nigga a believer, because he trying to pop him. That mess. You okay. see? He reject the truth, trying to trying to get some box uh, off the damn Edomite woman. Just to agree with him, dumb fucking niggas. First, first Peter four and five. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? For for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead. For this cause. What is gospel preached to them that are dead? So they ask and be judged, man. Okay? So you how about Shemel was shocked and fuck they ass up, man. That's what it is, man. Read that again. It says, for for this cause. Try that to read up a little bit. It says, verse 5. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Starting with the Yahweh Shemel was shot. And then trickle on down to us. Go ahead. For for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead. Two thirds, go ahead. That they might be judged according to men in the flesh. There you go. A judge according to men in the flesh. So we can judge and your ass gonna get tore up when you reject it. Go ahead. But live according to the most high in the spirit. Live according to the most high in the spirit. That's what we're doing. You know? It says, Leviticus 19 and 15, Ooh. ye shall not, he said, ye shall not, ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. You shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Leaning to your own understanding, saying, well, I feel this way, I feel that way. Hell no, nah, you're supposed to go to the law when a, a, a situation occurs. You're supposed to go to the scriptures. Not speak your own mind. But this is how I feel. Hell no, nah, your ass gonna get towed up. Go ahead. Thou shalt not respect the persons of the poor, nor honor the persons of the mighty, mm -hmm. but in righteousness shall thy judge thy neighbor. In righteousness shall thy judge thy neighbor. So in no respect the person, man. If you going off, if you going off, we not gonna lean to you and say, oh, it's all right, you'll be all right, don't worry about it. Hell no, nah, we gotta tell you what the scriptures say. That's what it is, man. Whether you big or small, rich or poor. You gotta tell you what the scriptures say. And that's that. Huh. Well, we at in uh Ezra. Ezra, second Ezra. Yeah, we're gonna finish that off and we're gonna close up. Second Ezra is 15 and 28. Behold, a horrible vision and an appearance thereof from the east, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots. Yeah, the nations of the dragon of Arabia. That's why Saudi Arabia getting involved. You see, but Saudi Arabia was in the back. Now he coming up to the forefront. You see, I said that shit with, with man. I, I ain't on him, you know what I'm saying? I had Saudi Arabia coming up to the forefront, man. You see? And I was speaking on that through the spirit before they even came up like that. Long time ago, because of the scriptures. God. Go ahead. It says, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth. Yeah, that's in the that's in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, right there in that Middle East. Right? All in that area, all up in Palestine, Israel, Iraq. Uh, Saudi Arabia, that's a fucking hot bed, man. That's where it's gonna jump off at, man. And it's gonna escalate and it's gonna get real nasty. And they in Syria right now. That's why that's why uh uh America's mad about Russia uh bombing uh 
bombing ISIS because ISIS is set up by the CIA. The crooks in action. You know, the Central Intelligence Agency. Try. And that's what they do, man. That's what they that's what America do, man. They go in there, they try to talk to you, right? Before they try to set up a puppet government, they go in there, they try to talk to you, right? If you don't listen, they'll they'll uh uh they'll uh, uh then they'll throw you some money, right? If you ain't listening to that, then they'll send them jackals in there. Okay? Which is the base of their coup d'etat to overthrow the government. And that's what America doing, man. Trying to overthrow Assad, but Russia and China is standing firm. France, France is gonna get involved. Spain is gonna get involved. Germany gonna get involved. They all gonna stand with Russia, man. Spain gonna stand with Russia. All of them gonna stand on that side of Russia, man. And they gonna forsake America, pursuing the Revelation the 17th chapter. You see, they shall hate the whore and make her desolate. God. You see? Go ahead. And the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth. Hey, the multitude, the Arabian, Ishmael. You see? And the multitude of them shall be carried like the wind, man, on the earth, man. Armies and armies of them fuckers. Go ahead. It says that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Yeah. Also the Carmanians raging in their wrath. The Carmanians. That's talking about Iran. Okay. What's that? Ezekiel uh, 28 and uh, 12. Get that. Ezekiel 28 and I think it's 12. 12. You mentioned Persia, Libya. Uh, talk about Tyrus. Oh, uh, damn. Talk about 38. No, uh, it, it might be 27 and uh, it might be 27 and 12. It says Ezekiel 27 and 10, they of Persia oh. and of Lud and of Put were in thine army. Hey, right, read that again. It says Ezekiel 27 and 10. So Lincoln, Lincoln, uh, that links up with uh, Gog and Magog, right? Ezekiel 38, right? And that's what you see in uh, Russia being the guard to the nation, okay? That's what you're seeing. And, it, 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 and in that army, it mentions uh, Persia, right? And Persia is Iran, okay? Persia is Iran, and those are them uh, East Indians, Elam. That's their biblical nationality, Elam, okay? Go ahead. They are Persia and of Lud. And those of are them put. African nations, them so-called African nations. Go ahead. And of Put were in thine army. Uh-huh. So them men. Africans, so them Africans gonna link up with them Russians, man. See, America gonna lose all its fucking allies, man. All the people that was cool with America and were making money off America and were getting money with America, they all gonna turn on this bitch, man. They gonna be left by itself, man. And they gonna burn uh, uh, Israel, they gonna burn Palestine, and they gonna burn America, man. All them nations, man. They gonna get this place, man. Go ahead. They of Persia and of Lud and of Put were in thine army, thy men of war. Men of war. You got articles out there. They, them Iranians said, look, we ready for this. We're going to show them, we're going to show them America what war is really like. We're going to show them. There's articles out there. Go ahead. It says, they hang the shield and helmet in thee. Mm -hmm. They set forth thy comeliness. The men of Arvad with thine army were upon thy walls round about. Mm -hmm. They're gonna besiege, they're gonna besiege, they're gonna besiege American military. They're gonna be all over them bitches. They're gonna be crying like hoes, man. Jump back to uh, what you call uh, uh, God. And it says, also, uh, 2nd Ezra 15 and 30, 
Also, the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as a wild boar in the of the woods. Yeah, that's the Myrenians.